Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to quickly come on here and share with you an idea that I have because I needed RFID blockers for my wallet and passport, but I found those ready-made RFID blocker cards way too expensive and I didn't want the RFID wallet. I already had a wallet that I'm happy with and there's also no way of checking before buying if they actually work. I mean, I know they work, but that specific item that I could be buying could be fake and I have no way of checking that before purchasing. And they're expensive. So I did my research and I found that metal sheets are actually very good at blocking RFID signals and copper is among the best. So I went on Shopee and ordered some copper sheets, but I ordered the wrong one. For starters, these are too small. I wanted to cut them down to credit card size and I needed six. Later on, I'll explain why I needed six, but these aren't enough to make six credit card sized sheets. And they are too thick. I have no tool that can cut metal sheets that are this thick. Anyway, I will still link this down below in case this is what you're looking for. My next order was much cheaper and was also the right one. I also bought this on the same shopping app that I used to order the first one and I will also link this down below in case you're interested. But this is much a thinner material, still copper, and there is more of it that I can use and it's really, really metal. You can tell from the sound. Let me turn on the original sound here. Okay, so now all I really have to do is determine the size that I want before cutting this. Here is my wallet. It's a traveler's notebook from the old Midori brand. I have a video about how I have set this up as a wallet and I will link it in the description box. I want three RFID blockers here at the back and three more at the front so that this entire stack of cards will be enclosed by the RFID blocking sheets at the front and at the back. That's the idea. That is the goal. Now, these card sleeves are actually slightly bigger than the actual cards, which is why the cards don't really sit straight inside them. It can seem unsightly, although I don't really mind, but I decided that I will not cut the copper into the standard card size. Instead, I will cut the copper sheets to fit these sleeves exactly, and based on my measurement, it has to be 6.5 by 9 centimeters. So the next step is for me to make the cut. Basing from the measurement of the roll, I can really maximize the width of it. I'm using my ordinary paper trimmer, which is actually quite okay with paper, but because this is metal, the cut edge does look a little ragged. Even if I place a sheet of paper underneath when making the cut, the edge still comes out ragged. It actually doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, you can snip off a tiny sliver off the edge using a pair of scissors in order to make a neater cut. But on second thought, I am probably wrecking my scissors in doing this. <laughs> These scissors are not made for metal. Anyway, after all of the sheets are cut down to the size that I want, I just have to slip them in, see if it's okay. Now I have measured these to be super exact to fit inside the sleeves, but it seems that they are too exact. I needed some leeway to slip them in, so I just snipped off a tiny sliver off of the long edges, and that worked. So now I'll just do the same to make three more inserts for the front part of the stack of cards inside the wallet. And that's it. That's my cheap and easy hack to create RFID blockers for your wallet or organizer. You can even wrap a small flap of it around the cover of your passport, like a book sleeve or something, to block unauthorized RFID scanning of your passport, especially when you're traveling, which is the only situation in which you would bring a passport anyway, I think. Now, I haven't checked yet if these actually do the blocking that I need. I'm going to have to get back to you on that. But basing on my research, 
this should do in principle. I will of course try to find an RFID scanner someday soon and see if these work with blocking, but for now, wish me luck with these. Thanks for watching. Bye.